So with the Wallabies in Argentina and of course given how much he loves a barbecue, Sean Maloney has also packed his bags. He's hit the road once again to give us that authentic gaucho feel. Sean has ventured all the way to the loading dock here at Fox Sports. Hopefully the satellite will work. Come in, Sean. <laughs> Ah, buenas noches. Nick McCarlin to you at home as well. We're in for a real treat tonight. We're joined by Sydney's number one Argentinian chef, Jose Aguero Martinez, Sabatini Fernando Gonzalez, <laughs> who's going to give us a bit of a feel on how to get it done RG style. Tell us, Jose, what are the tips and tricks we need to know at home? Buenas noches, Senor Maloney. Hay que usar carbón, la carne salada, cocinar despacito. Y terminar con un poco de chimichurri. Ah, uh, bien, bien. So what he's saying there, folks, is that get your coals on there, do it low and slow. A bit of salt either side on your meat, and then go serve it with the chimichurri. Tell us what's on the grill here, Jose. Acá tenemos un poco de costilla, y de este lado tenemos chorizo. Mm, delicioso. Ah, uh, sí, sí, delicioso. Where can we pick this kind of uh, delicious meat up from, friend? Esta carne, la carnicería Papa Andrea en Bosley Park. Ah, uh, fantástico, Jose. Hey, boys, we'll just keep working away on the grill here for you. We'll be back in there in a couple of moments. Remember, low and slow, low and slow. Uh, Kate with us in just a moment for Foxfield, but um, let's just quickly check in with Sean Maloney, see how the asado is coming along. Shawnee. Yeah, Nick, uh, Jose and I have just been barbecue and grilling up a storm. I've just sent a bit of uh, chorizo your way. Have a little sample yeah. of that, fellas. How does it go in there on set? It should be oh. it should be delicious. Dip mm. it in the chimichurri, Elsie. Oh, Don't forget to dip it in the chimichurri. Oh, that's hot. It's in there. Nice, surely. Yeah, a bit of punch there for your whore. And Jose yeah, nice. says, oh, okay. if you don't chimichurri, you're not doing it the right mm. way. Now, hey, while, oh, you, while you guys bit. eat that, while you guys eat that, I'm just going to... Uh, I've got a few bones to pick here with our resident Argentinian chef, Mr. Mr. Jose. Mr. Jose, last year, the Wallabies go across to Argentina and the Anthems. They're a disaster. What happens? Marcelo Celada. Fue escenas increíble. Un desastre. Um, muy malo. Fue okay, muy malo. All right. For those, for those of you who can't remember, here's a little look at how bad the butcher job really was. How about next time he learns the words, Jose? And don't forget the laser issues we've had over the years, Jose. What's doing, friend? También lo siento, lo siento, pero prometo no va a haber láser este año. Say it one more time. Te prometo de corazón no va a haber ningún láser. Okay, so what Mr. Jose here is saying is that he promises, folks, no lasers this weekend in Mendoza. Don't go anywhere. We've got the wraparound coming up in a few moments. We'll see you later, Mr. Thank Jose. You. He's got places to be. He's seen his number one Argentinian ref. So, Nick, I'm going to be back in there in a moment, and there's a laser <laughs> right on my face right now. I said you promised. Jose, you promised. <laughs> uh, there's not much left of that barbecue, no, no, is there? No, no, it's yeah. virtually all gone. I love, I love the fact that Sean actually wants us to believe that he understands everything that Jose yeah. is saying. Yeah. He's got absolutely no idea.